Hello, everyone, and welcome to the spring 2018 edition of MBA 590602 Digital Marketing. Um, I change this video up every year because I change the course a little bit every year. So this video in particular is going to be really about the nuts and bolts of the course, right? So we're going to talk about uh, what the grades are, how the grades are assigned, uh, what you're expected to do, what I'm expected to do, uh, and kind of go over all those issues. Now you've already heard why I'm really passionate about digital marketing, why I think this is like a really cool and hot topic area that we're going to be exploring throughout this course. Uh, but now I'm going to tell you the nitty gritty about how that course is all going to come together. Okay. So first of all, contacting me. I promise that I will do my best to respond to you as quickly as possible. I guarantee that I will respond to you within 24 hours um, uh, during weekdays for sure. Um, sometimes on weekends, it may be a little bit longer than that, but I will do my best to get back to you as quickly as possible. You can always email me at wmrand.ncsu.edu or tweet me at Bill Rand. Those are probably the two best ways to get a hold of me. Um, uh, you can also come by, knock on my office, Store 2324 Nelson Hall, uh, and and we're happy. To, I'm happy to chat anytime if I'm available. Um, all the class content is on Moodle, right? Everything is on Moodle. There is no, uh, you know, you don't you don't need anything that's not there. Basically, uh, you will need a Top Hat account, which we'll talk about in a little bit. Uh, but other than that, everything is on Moodle. Um, so the videos are there as well, and the videos are also at youtube.com slash Bill Rand, and I have a, a channel put together for all the videos, so if you want to just go and like binge and watch them all straight, you can go to the YouTube channel, which is available at go.ncsu.edu slash MBA 590 YouTube, right? Um, Office hours. Um, I will do office hours live on YouTube on Wednesdays at 5 p.m. Uh, you just need to be at youtube.com slash slash live. I also capture the office hours, put them into the YouTube channel, and link to them on the Moodle later so you can see all the content right there. If you have a question for office hours, you can either just go to the channel, go to the, the viewing platform, and type in your question as a comment, and it shows up, and I'll answer it right there. Or you can tweet it at me, or you can email it to me ahead of time, right? Um, and I do want to make, there's a disclaimer about this in uh, the syllabus, but of course, if you are putting content up on the channel, right, then that cha that is viewable to the public. So your private, you have um, no privacy expectations for content that you're putting up there. Like if you're asking me a question, other people will be able to read your name and who you, and, and, the, and the address that you have on YouTube at least, right? Um, so just be aware of that as you're going forward. Uh, I also held office hours in person on Tuesdays and Thursdays in my office or 2210 Nelson Hall. Um, the reason why I say or one or the other is that I may not have made that much. 2.45 p.m. is when my the um, online version, or sorry, the offline version of this class ends every day. Uh, and so I may not have made it back to my uh, office yet. So check 2210 first if you're close to 245. Otherwise, I may be in my office. That's, of course, only if you you know have the ability to come by in person. Also, by the way, you know these are all standard default times I have set up. If you want to just kind of like get on the phone with me, get on Skype, whatever, and chat about something in the class, feel free to let me know, email me, we can set something up, okay? So there is, um, the, all the required reading for the class will be posted weekly on Moodle. Basically, these will be news, trade, and academic articles on digital marketing. Your participation score for the class, which is 10% of your overall grade, will be based upon discussions that you'll be involved in in Top Hat based around these readings. So I encourage you to read them, uh, think about them, and then post some comments and questions onto Top Hat. As a supplementary reading, even though you know the videos cover a lot of the material and everything you need to know, uh, a lot of people like a physical book of some sort, or in this case, a virtual book. Uh, there is a book called eMarketing, the Essential Guide to Online Marketing, that's available uh, from uh, Quirk, now called Red and Yellow. They keep changing their name, but uh, they uh, the link to that is on Moodle. is also in the syllabus. Um, a, basically, it's a you know if you have any questions about anything I cover and want to get into more detail about something, it's a great place to look. It is free, right? It's a PDF that's available online. Uh, if you have any troubles getting a hold of it, let me know. Um, if you want, you can order a physical copy, but uh, you, you know the, that would cost you money. Um, 
Again, I also suggest some additional sources to complement things, right? So you're going to be asked to do a marketing plan for this class. And as part of that, you might want to do some additional research into what kinds of marketing, digital marketing channels you would pursue, right? Um, so I highly recommend things like eMarketer, which is just a great overall website to get a lot of stats and figures about what's going on with digital marketing. Uh, Mashable is a great website that covers a lot of other news, but it also seems to have one foot, at least firmly planted, still in digital marketing in the tech world. I recommend the tech and marketing sections of the Wall Street Journal. They do a good job of covering digital marketing. Wired Magazine is, of course, a classic example in here. And in fact, many of the reasons why I love to teach digital marketing, why I wound up teaching digital marketing, is because I've been reading Wired Magazine since its second issue, right? And I've kind of been keeping up to date on what's going on in, in that world. Um, Slashdot is an older website that some of you may not have heard of, but it was one of the first kind of uh, websites to blogging kind of news compilation websites to really cover all that's going on in tech. And so it has a lot of stuff on digital marketing in there as well. Fast Company, I highly recommend a lot of times they're covering new dot coms, new things that aren't new apps, things like that are coming along. And then Marking Over Coffee is the single best podcast that I know of out there uh, to kind of go into the nitty gritty details of how to do digital marketing. These are this is two guys definitely down the trenches who uh, really cover uh, what's going on with digital marketing quite well. Okay. Grading for this class, so 50% of your grade is based upon a group project that you're going to do. 30% um, of that, 30% uh, of your grade is based upon the written group project you're going to turn in. 10% is based upon website and social media prototypes you're going to create. So these are creatives that you're going to create. Um, and 10% is based upon a group project presentation uh, that you're going to do with me at the end of the class. Right? Individual grades. 10% of them will be a peer based upon your peer review of your group members. So at the end of the course, when you're done with the group project, you have to peer review all your group members and your grade is based upon their peer review of you. 15% um, of it, then there's two kind of individual take home assignments, a conceptual and analytical. Each of those makes up 15% of your grade. Um, and they essentially are like uh, mini cases, essentially. You'll get a um, a week to work on these, um, and or a week or two weeks in some cases, to work on these, and uh, then you'll turn in an assignment at the end uh, that's kind of your thoughts on it. These, you know, a lot of this class I try to keep asynchronous, um, but things like the group project deadlines and the assignment deadlines obviously can't be done completely asynchronously. So um, those are do have some due dates along the way, but everything else I try and make. And speaking of which, participation. So the way participation works in this class is that every week there is a reading posted and you're expected to comment on that reading in the Top Hat discussion environment. And those comments, however, um, are not time bound. Like they, they, the, the assignment won't start until the week that it starts, right? Uh, but it will uh, be available until the end of the class, right? Um, yeah. Uh, so speaking of participation, so the expectation is that you will read the assignments each week and participate actively on the Top Hat discussion. Uh, Top Hat basically just looks to see if you've made a comment or not. Of course, I can go then and override if, if you just put in something like Me Too or something like that, right, that's not really a, a comment on that particular thread, uh, then I can go and change the, the score there, right, or if you just put your name in or whatever. Um, but, you know, to general, I expect you to contribute a thoughtful comment to the discussion overall. Uh, the code on Top Hat, so you have to go to tophat.com and sign up. It's a very, mo you can access it from any device, a laptop, a mobile phone, an iPad, whatever. What you need is my code, and my code for my course is 385666 for this course, this section. Um, at the end of the semester, if your Top Hat participation score is over 70%, then you will receive the full credit for participation, right? If it's not over 70%, hopefully we won't get there, uh, but you'll receive whatever you got as a result, right? So there's a big, big bonus to getting just over that 70% mark, okay? Um, with that being said, I'm going to pause for a split second. I'm going to switch to the syllabus, and we'll talk about that. Hello, and so this is back at the syllabus, right? So now we're looking through the details here. And most of this we've covered already, so I'll be able to skim through a lot of it, but I just wanted you to go through so you could hear me talk about it. And if you have any questions, again, feel free to email me. 
Um, right at the top, you have my contact information. There is my office phone there. Um, I prefer email and Twitter. I'm much more likely to respond quickly there. Uh, but if you want to call and leave a voice message, I will do my best to get back to you as soon as possible. Um, office hours, again, Wednesday at 5 at youtube.com slash billrand slash live. All office hours are recorded. It will be made available on Moodle and YouTube immediately afterwards. Not immediately. It takes a few minutes for YouTube to process them, but shortly afterwards, right? Um, Readings will be posted to Moodle throughout the semester. Those are the only required readings, and those are the things you need to discuss for your participation grade. There is the supplementary text as well, and a lot of the definitions, even some of the, the, you know, the figures and things that I use in this class come out of this textbook. So if you ever have any questions, it is the authoritative source to go to for the course, um, besides my videos, of course. Um, Course objectives, I talked about these a little bit in the introduction, so I'm not gonna go over these in too much detail. Um, and here is the actual schedule. And you'll see it's set up by weeks. And right now I've released all of, uh, it, you know, I've released the beginning material for the class and we'll be rolling out the rest as we go through the class. Uh, but um, week one is obviously covering um, basically the course overview and the history of digital and kind of why digital and marketing are so uh, important for each other, right? And then we'll be getting into next week, we'll be talking about digital marketing strategy and research. We'll jump into social media and probably the reason we do that is because social media is really becoming a big part of digital, right? So I skip ahead a little bit in the textbook in terms of going over social uh, fairly early on. It also gives us something to talk about when we get into things like analytics, which is the next section because it's hard to talk about analytics without having discussed at least one of the digital marketing channels. Uh, from there, we'll go into search engine optimization, user experience and website development, uh, content marketing, online advertising, uh, email and mobile, video marketing, um, and uh, e-commerce and customer relationship management, right? Um, essentially, each week, we'll be covering one topic. Of course, you can be going through these as fast as you want to go through them. Um, I will make content available as soon as I finalize it for the semester, um, and it'll go up there. All of the due dates on Thursdays, right? And the reason why that is, is because I run this offline course, it's easy to keep the two in sync that way. Um, and, and so uh, you will see deadlines that are on Thursday of each week, right? Um, the first deadline you have coming up is to submit your preferred team members by January 18th. So you got a little bit over a week uh, from the point of the, the beginning of the class to do that, okay? Um, Everything wraps up on April 26. Um, there are two times that I'll be talking directly to the team. So there is a, um, if you notice, March 12th, the week of March 12th, you'll be meeting with me individually to talk about that. And we'll set that up when we get closer to it. Uh, basically just doing a teleconference with you and your team. And then on the week of April 23rd, um, around then, we usually do, it usually winds up being like two weeks, same with the, the feedback. Um, we'll we'll do, meet again over teleconference for you to do the class to do the final project presentation to me. Grading, I just you know I just talked about that, but essentially here's the details again um, coming out, and here's the standard grade letters. All assignments are due by 11:55 p.m. on the date they're listed. Right, all assignments are turned in on Moodle, so um, you just upload them there. Um, I reserve the right to assess any assignments late a 5% penalty per day. So try and get them in on time. Team project. You will self-organize into a four or five person team at the beginning of the semester. Um, and then you will submit that sh shortly. Um, and then over the course of the semester, you'll be developing a digital marketing plan for an organization that you've identified, right? Um, at the end of the semester, you're going to share the projects. Um, not in an oral presentation, well, in an oral presentation, but with me as the as the member of the receiver of the presentation, right? You'll also be turning in a final paper and some creative content on the last days of class. Um, your participation grade will be judged based on contributions to an online discussions. This year, I'm trying out Top App for the first time. I think this will work. It's very similar to the way I've done it on Moodle before with the added benefit that it automatically grades your participation. It does that just by giving you a point if you if you contribute. Um, you just need to go to tahahahead.com, set up your account, and then enter the class code of 385666 to get access to the assignments. Um, 
I will be putting the assignments up as you know as soon as I've completed them, um, and you basically can complete them at any time during um, the uh, the course. Right? I've made the due date for all those assignments the last day of the course, April twenty sixth. Uh, Moodle is basically where everything happens. You will receive your feedback on Moodle. You'll turn your assignments in on Moodle. Um, I, um, you know, if you have any questions, I recommend first going to Moodle um, and then kind of, you know, you can email me. I guarantee I'll, you know, answer within 24 hours during the week and 48 hours on weekend. As I said, I tend to handle all my email late at night, so you'll you might get late late night emails. Um, um, Students are required to comply with the university policy on academic integrity, right? Your submission online of your assignment is a statement to the fact that you have neither given nor received unauthorized aid. So you're abiding by essentially an honor code when it comes to this. Um, if there's any problems that you have accessing content online uh, due to uh, whatever a disability or something like that, please let me know um, and I will do my best to make sure it's, it's available to you. Um, also, standard non-discrimination policy, uh, you know, we do not discriminate based on race, color, religion, creed, sex, national origin, age, disability, veteran status, or sexual orientation. Moreover, um, the, you know, in an effort to affirm and respect the identities of any transgendered individuals um, in, online, please contact me if you wish me to refer to you using a name or pronoun other than what is listed in the student directory. Okay. Finally, online class evaluations will be available Four students complete during the last two weeks of semester. That's between April 16th, 2018 and April 30th, 2018 now, okay? Um, please do fill those out. I use those quite extensively when deciding how uh, to work on my class. Okay, so let me go back. I'm gonna make a couple more points and I'll talk about what you need to do this week and then uh, we're essentially uh, done with the course overview. So this is, of course, a digital marketing class, but it's also an analytics class. And with that in mind, I do want to give you two principles I hope you can take away from this class. Um, and I situate them in the context of digital marketing, but they're really, really important to just about every kind of analytics, business analytics you're going to do, right? And the first one is that my experiences with digital media extrapolate to only one person, i.e. me. What I'm trying to say by that is that what we know about the way we interact with digital marketing, the way we interact with the internet and our phones and our web, really that only tells us something about what we do, right? Um, in other words, we should not assume we know how everyone else interacts with a particular platform or digital experience based upon our experiences or even based upon our experience and our friends' experience. But rather we should do research and gather data to understand how people use digital, right? We, um, just because we happen to think that Instagram is like the newest, hottest platform doesn't mean that the world does and we need to figure that out, right? Um, second, and this is kind of related to the first in some ways, is that every decision can be modeled, right? So if I want to know what I should do uh, for, you know, the next social media platform, which, which one I should hop on, which one I should try and really go to as a business manager, right, then... I can try and come up with a model as to which one would be the most profitable for me to do, right? I don't have to just kind of like randomly pick and just go forward, right? We may not have exactly the right data at the time we start working on that model. We may not have exactly the right knowledge that we need, but we can begin by writing down a crude model and then refining and refining and refining as it will go. Once we've written that model down, there's now a, a stake in the ground that we can use to discuss what our company should be doing, what our organization should be doing, right? Um, and, and, and by having a model, we are a lot more closer to having a discussion over the merits of the model rather than having an arbitrary discussion about whatever the, the highest paid individual in the room thinks, right? So what do you need to do this week, right? Um, first of all, you need to complete the survey, go.ncsu.edu slash MBA 590 survey. Read the Wall Street Journal article and watch the video on augmented reality that's up on Moodle and then contribute to the discussion about that on Top Hat. And I've seeded Top Hat with a couple of, of questions that you might want to think about. Um, I also want you to submit your preferred group team members by, uh, early, by next week, um, January 18th at 11.55 p.m. And, of course, you know, if you want to read the supplemental reading for the week, read over the appendix of the textbook, okay? Chapter 23, I believe. 
Um, with that, if you have any questions, email me or tweet at me at Bill Rand. Okay, take care.